Hi, I'm Marcel Ruben and uh, welcome to this small tutorial. This painting uh, will be a wooden statue of a woman uh, from Bali. Now this kind of statue uh, has been made a lot. And as it turns out, uh, in my family there was also one uh, left over. So I have decided to uh, paint this as well. Now I remember I was already planning to, uh, to paint this and I just didn't figure out why I was not uh, doing this uh, already before until I took a good look at this uh, still life. Now you will not notice this uh, quite quickly but if you take a good look at this still life you'll see that the details in this are remarkably small. Just uh, take a look at the grid. It's a uh, 20 by 20 millimeters uh, squared grid. Now, if you look at the uh, drawing that I made already, uh, just focus on the eyes for a moment, and you see that those eyes are, I think, roughly uh, just a few, few millimeters in size. Now, obviously, uh, that is going to be a challenge. Uh, so, in the first uh, first topic to note is that you need a steady hand. And uh, the second topic to note is that you need some special brushes to uh, to actually uh, to actually do this. So, let's uh, take a look at those brushes. Here, I have uh, three of them. And those are um, specific brushes that is like the four to three millimeters in length. Now I have a, to give you a, a kind of a example. Uh, this one is uh, like uh, roughly five millimeters. And then I have the other one. Let me get it here. This is roughly four millimeters. And I don't know if that is really uh, good field in this movie but I'm trying and this is not much larger than three millimeters uh, beside those brushes uh, one thing you need is a magnifying glass uh, for you that has uh, 10 to 10 vision I'm not one of them so definitely <laughs> I will need a magnifying glass but anyway a magnifying glass is uh, is good to uh, to notice the details so let's start this painting the formula is the same as with uh, I recorded in the previous uh, movies starting with the sketch as I done uh, and the first layer and then a second layer and then probably uh, a third layer but um, my guess is with those uh, colors, uh, a second layer should be sufficient.
So, first uh, layer is done, uh, and as I ex expected, the uh, first layer of the uh, of the statue should be sufficient. Now, I'm not really quite sure if that is the same for the background because that is still here and there quite of a kind of a transparency. But uh, yeah, we'll see uh, how that will go uh, on the second layer in the background. So the uh, before the uh, second layer uh, starting, I'm just gonna first a bit analyzing this a bit. Uh, yeah, mostly uh, decide if I should need to change a form or colors. But all in all, I I think I'm uh, quite there. So uh, yeah, I think uh, I can start the second layer already.
the uh, painting is finished. Um, all in all, it's uh, it's been uh, a pleasure to do this, uh, specifically because I like to uh, do small things in fine detail. Now you have uh, been noticing that the color was, uh, at least in painting, uh, color is way more red than the original picture, but that is because the uh, the recording is uh, is set that way that it looks a bit more red uh, but in real the painting uh, yeah is quite there so i hope you uh, like this small tutorial and i see you on the next one